Yo, what is up guys? Today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at some of the things that Luke said in his uh, stream. And the first thing I kind of wanted to make a video on was the fact that they're going to be doing something equivalent to what Warframe does with their Warframes. Where, if you guys don't know, once the Warf the Prime Warframe comes out, like let's say uh, Nyx Prime. There's usually uh, Nyx and then, then there's a Nyx Prime. They're two different characters kind of the nyx version is just like basic bitch nyx like she's just the regular character and then nyx prime is like the upgraded version like there's a bunch of lore behind it it's really cool it usually has a lot of like cosmetic changes and stat changes as well and you usually want the prime versions because they're just all around better and then once like you know the the time where you can acquire her ends she gets vaulted and she comes back later as like a purchasable character or whatever. I've destroyed money on that for for like one character. I've tried to do it on another, but I, I'm waiting until like one actually comes out that I really care about, which is uh, the one I've, I uh, destroyed money on was uh, doesn't matter because it's not a Warframe video. So. Uh, I'm gonna do that again. Fuck! Uh, what's her fucking name? I shouldn't. Nah, fuck that. Alright. Yo, what is up, guys? Today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're gonna be looking at something that Luke Smith said in his stream the other day, which is essentially a new type of thing that they're gonna be doing, which is kind of the same as Warframe how they do their fuck oh my god sweetie I had it so perfect the first time okay yo what is up guys for today we're talking about Destiny 2 now specifically we're going to be looking at some of the things that Luke Smith said particularly we're going to be looking at the Destiny content vault so just to kind of give you guys something to like look at you're going to be seeing a little bit of Warframe right now because if you guys don't know, Warframe has a similar type of thing where you have your character, which is, let's just say Nyx. Nyx is one of my favorite characters and she was one of the first primes that I got. So Nyx is just a regular character. She does CC from what I've heard. It's bullshit. She's, she's garbage right now from what I've heard, but Nyx is just... A character she just exists and then you can get a prime version of her which is just essentially just like a golden version of her sometimes so you get nyx and then you have nyx prime once nyx prime's like obtainable time limit expires then that's when she gets vaulted so the reason i'm i'm kind of comparing the, both of them is because in destiny 2 we're going to have content go into the vault and then come back later at a later time, maybe. So I actually think this is pretty cool. I think this is OK. So I like this idea more than I really like. I like this idea more than I should, mostly because, yes, content's going to be going away from us. But the way I think about it is like a great example is Let's say the Leviathan just leaves because that's one of the content that's going to leave. If you guys don't know, basically so much is leaving. It's not even funny. Uh, I'm going to do a video about what's specifically leaving and what specifically is coming back. But I just want to talk about the idea of Destiny Content Vault because that's what it's called. Essentially, we could have like the Menagerie go away. We can have the forges go away. And I have so many videos lined up just because just because of that concept alone. Like that really sparked like 50 videos. Like more like 20, but still. So the fact that we're gonna have content just go away into a vault and then maybe come back just really really opens up destiny to become more fluid so what i mean by that is let's say 
there's a season that's really boring like season of the worthy imagine that all of our old content was gone and it was just season of the worthy bungie could have implemented all right let's bring it let's bring back the menagerie but with different rewards structured in and obviously a bit easier way to get glyphs because obviously newer players would need to get more glyphs but let's structure it in a way where some of the new weapons that we have now you can get them just from the menagerie runes uh, the menagerie rune ability if you guys don't know you put a rune in you decide what you want what weapon you want and even what uh masterwork you want or armor as well let's say oh i really want this armor with this specific thing do it especially with how we have uh the the customization in weapons and armor in season of the rivals i think would be amazing maybe it comes back and levi and the leviathan comes back and all his raids are back all his all the menageries back and the thing that gives it more value is the fact that maybe the raids are actually at the higher light level like all those all those raids yo listen uh crown of sorrow all of them are of of the same light as GOS. Maybe all of like the Leviathan, the, the first raid and the, the raid layers, all of those are of level. All of those are all of level. That would be fucking cool. Oh, mate, you want the menagerie? Here's the menagerie. We wanted to give you this. Uh, we have weapons from, from this season. We have weapons from the world pool all in there. So if you guys really want a specific weapon or a specific role, there it is or maybe you want specific armor from this season here's a specific role as well that's just one example that's just the leviathan imagine the forge is coming back the forge is coming back would be amazing if they gave us new weapon types new stuff like maybe we started finding more houses obviously if it's just the houses that we got in that season then that does limit it but it doesn't mean that other houses can't be invented or just oh we didn't know this house what existed you know it just it gives Bungie the option to just do more with that content and I will say I am a little not mad but a little disappointed that we're gonna have content leave because I still run Menagerie I still run the forges so for me it's just gonna kind of suck but the reason I was running those is because I was trying to get weapons and so with sunsetting happening kind of really destroys all my motivation to go get those weapons especially for a few things that i'm gonna make a video specifically on because i got really mad but that's pretty much it the destiny content vault is essentially just gonna vault some of the content that we've had mostly because it's gonna be a great way to reuse assets that they already have i think in a good way if they just gave us destiny 2 season of the rehash where it's like just giving us all our like content back that's the bad way to do it that would be a bad way to do it if you guys revolve like a dlc or a season behind like most of our old content and just that that's when people would probably get mad and be like oh you're just rehashing you're, you're reusing you're reskin that's where people would get mad i feel like this type of content would be good layered into everything else like as an extra not as a we're going to use this as our main content unless let's say let's say you have a season where it's cabal themed but not red legion i mean like actually cabal themed with different fucking factions again like i don't know from destiny one we had different colored uh cabals so it would be cool if the reason why the leviathan left was so that callus can like reclaim his kingdom or whatever and then when he came back he wasn't an enemy, but his cabal dudes didn't like you. You know, I don't know. Destiny, they could they could work around that. I would really like it in that way because then it's like, okay, there there's a reason why the Leviathan's coming back. There's a reason why, you know, the cabal are not Red Legion anymore. Which I really hope we have, don't have Red Legion anymore. I'm tired of looking at the Red Legion, but it's just there's so much they could do with this. They could take out the gambit thing uh what the fuck ever it's called i forget what it's called they could take that out and then just put new rewards they can tweak it a little so it could, it could be a little bit easier considering we're not gonna have our 
super monster killing machines. Like, they could do so much with this, and I hope they don't drop the ball. I really hope that they do the content right. Like, if you bring back Menagerie, bring back new new encounters. Like, just do it in a way where it's like Menagerie Classic and new Menagerie. That would be great because it would give people like, oh, like, do I want to run the old one? Do I want to run the new one? It would be great. I just, like I, like I said, man, I really hope they don't drop the ball because this sounds like an amazing idea. That like most of the community is okay with this idea. I have not seen anyone say, oh, this is a shitty idea. I I'm kind of on par. Like I think this is a great idea if they implement it well. Like I said, there's a good way and bad way of reskinning stuff. And I will I will admit that. If you give me old armor from past seasons that have not been able to be acquired in the season, I'm super okay with that. Rise of Iron or not Rise of Iron. Actually, yeah, that's a perfect example. Like, Rise of Iron Armor, taking King Armor, coming back. Awesome. Season 1, 2, and 3 Armor coming back from, like, Crucible, Vanguard. Like, the ornaments coming back. Dope. I love that idea. I would fuck. If the Season 2 Armor set from Iron Banner came back as just a regular armor, I you would, ha you, you would not see me, bitch. I'd be happy. So... There's just for me there's a there's a good way of doing reskins and there's a bad way of doing reskins and I just I like the Destiny content vault a lot. I, I think it's a great idea. Uh Bungie, please don't fuck it up. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys like the idea of content vault? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone. Be safe out there. You guys know what's happening in the world and other than that, I'll see you guys later.